Life City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back at the grocery store on the north side of Chicago, the Walmart neighborhood market to be exact, because a lot of people are asking me about the coronavirus and what I think of it. And hey guys, I'm not a doctor. I do not even pretend to play one on YouTube, but I do know about the best preserved and canned foods in the grocery store. And hey, we might have a situation where a pandemic is gonna happen here, and I think stocking up on some stuff that won't go bad, that don't need refrigeration, but also are healthy is probably a good idea. And I know the grocery store very well. This is my happy place, right? So why don't we go in here and do a haul, a haul about the best kind of doomsday scenario foods you can get because you typically think of canned foods, preserved foods as low quality, not nutrient dense with unsavory ingredients. Well, that's not the case. Nowadays, there's some really good stuff in here and I know how to navigate you through there. So in case something bad happens, you can have some good stuff on hand to get you through it. Before we do the deed, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share, all those lovely things. But the most important thing is a bell icon right below the video, enable all notifications. Because every single week, so much content's going live, including the live stream on Friday night called Friday with Flav, where we make a recipe from start to finish. You do not want to miss out. All right, let's go in, do our thing and hopefully, hopefully not get kicked out. All right, let's start with something that could be possibly the best preserved item here at the grocery store. And it's actually a gut friendly food, which is really, really excited. Let's hide behind this wall so we don't get kicked out. You guys know I love fermented cabbage for many reasons, but most importantly, the probiotic bacteria. This is one that's actually shelf stable because normally they come in the fridge case. It's Frank's Polish style kraut. So we look at the ingredients. See how it's absent of vinegar? That means it's a natural fermentation. Now here's the deal. I don't love this benzoate here and this metabisulfate. Those are preservatives, but we're talking about a doomsday scenario here or a prep or a hoarder kind of a style haul. So I'm okay with that because you've seen me talk about naturally fermented uh, sauerkraut many times. It normally is in the fridge false Waldo alert. Um, so I normally talk about that naturally fermented sauerkraut in the fridge case. That's not the best for kind of like a, um, a doomsday prepper thing because if the power goes out, that's gonna go bad. This is shelf stable and I love this because 80% of the cells that make up your immune system live in your gut. This is loaded with probiotic bacteria that are fantastic for your tummy and it's a great immune system booster when in a time when if you don't have fresh food like yogurt and uh, kefir, you can't get access to that kind of stuff. This is an absolute must. I'm so stoked about it. Preserves it or not, you gotta take it in a, a scenario like this. Now let me grab a couple more things here from the canned food aisle. All right. Here we go. So there aren't many canned vegetables that I love because typically when you can something, it gets very soft and wilted, but there are some vegetables that are fantastic. Case in point, canned beans. You really want to go organic. I think that's really important, but the main advantage of canned beans is nutrition. Canned beans are always pressure cooked. When you pressure cook beans, you get rid of the lectins. Lectins are very popular from Dr. Gundry and the plant paradox, but they're known as anti-nutrients. So if you just boil beans for a long time, you don't get rid of the lectins and anti-nutrients prevent your body from soaking up the nutrients and you want that. Because when you're talking about a lentil and other food, we're talking protein, fiber, good stuff like that. Could be minerals, electrolytes, very, very important to get canned pressure cooked. All beans are pressure cooked in the can and organic is very important because you don't want those harsh chemicals being sprayed there. Now, if you're going to get corn, which is a great vegetable in the can because it holds up its texture very well, you want to get organic because if it's not organic corn, it's GMO. What is GMO corn? It's corn that is bred Roundup ready. So they can spray the heck out of it with Monsanto's Roundup. It kills all the, um, the weeds, but it won't kill the corn. I would never eat conventional corn. Even in a doomsday scenario, you have access to organic. You want to get it. But what I would do actually is get the no salt added because the salt they're adding here, it says sea salt, but that means nothing. That's still like the iodized table salt that's really low quality. The reason why I'd get no salt is because you could add the best quality salt to this that is loaded with electrolytes and minerals and trace minerals your body needs. What do I mean by that? Let's go over to that uh, aisle in one second, but we're right next to, look at this. Oats here. Oats are great to have for a doomsday scenario, but here's the deal. I'm at Walmart right now, the Express, and I don't see organic oats. So you might pick up something like these, which all you need to do is add boiling water to them, which is really nice because you can boil water in a uh, bad scenario. But even though these are Kodiak cakes, the oats are not organic. This is Quaker. 
the oats are not organic. Why does that matter? We have a video coming next week about glyphosates and the foods with the highest glyphosate levels in the grocery store. Uh, glyphosate was the active ingredient in Roundup. Once again, Monsanto, it always comes back to you, homie. Um, even though oats are not sprayed with Roundup for um, herbicide reasons, oats are sprayed at the end of their life along with a wheat to kill or desiccate, to dry out the oat plant, to dry out the wheat so they can dry out quicker and harvest it quicker. Glyphosate levels are alarmingly high. So you have to get organic, always organic oats. And I think in a scenario like, you know, a doomsday, you want to have that, but man, it's very easy to find organic oats. Um, steel cut oats are even higher in nutrition and have more fiber, but either one, you can't go bad. Hey, let's go talk about that salt. All right, fam, here's the salt. So we see sea salt, just like they listed on the uh, corn over there. This is not like unrefined, unprocessed sea salt. This is processed and bleached refined sea salt. And the problem with that is number one, they bleach it. They put anti-caking agents in here, but they get rid of all the trace minerals. So all you have left is sodium chloride. When you eat straight up sodium chloride, it spikes your blood pressure. You want the trace minerals in there because they have electrolytes, they have magnesium, they have stuff your body needs, especially in a prepper scenario, which is why I would only stock up on stuff like pink salt, gray salt, uh, Redmond Real Salt. This is probably the most accessible and cheapest one. There's a great deal on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. And Costco has a great deal too. This is unrefined. There's no whiteness in there at all because this has over 70 trace minerals from the uh, Himalayan Pakistani region of the mountains. It's good salt for you. It doesn't spike your blood pressure as much as this and it tastes good. So this is really the best case scenario for salt anytime, but especially in a prepper scenario. So load up on that because that's the good salt. All right, so we're talking doomsday foods here. I don't know of a better thing to keep in your doomsday bunker than cheese balls. Come on, you're already doomed. <laughs> Every time we come to Walmart, those fall onto Art's hands somehow. <laughs> All right, that might be on Art's list, but it's not on my list. Um, Beef jerky is gonna be on my list. And Walmart is one of the few places that has the best in class beef jerky. They also have an amazing organic grass-fed ground beef here for a great price. But I don't wanna put that in this video because if you lose power, it's gonna go rancid. This won't. And this, my friends, is South African beef jerky called Biltong to Tong Tong Tong, done by Cisco. We always joke. And why is this good? Because look at these ingredients, you guys. Typically, Beef jerky will have a lot of filler ingredients. This is just beef, vinegar, a little sweetness from a raisin, added sugars, psst, zero. So how do they do added zero of sugar if there's raisin juice concentrate? Because the USDA says if you add under a certain amount of anything per serving, you can say zero. It's a little misleading in certain cases, and this one I don't mind. The only thing that's wrong with this, it's not organic, it's not uh, grass-fed. That doesn't exist for biltong that I've seen. But you guys, if you grab any other beef jerky and compare it, this is just a standard beef jerky here, compare the ingredients. I mean, we're talking about added brown sugar, we're talking about natural flavors, we're talking about hydrolyzed soy protein, erythrobates are nasty preservatives. So I would go with Cisco's brand of biltong. This is where it's at, you guys. It's really good. It's gonna last you a super long time and it's a great source of protein. And I love to have it here. They have it at um, Aldi as a two for a great price. And I'll see if they have it on Amazon. If they do, I'll leave a link down below. All right, we gotta talk about canned fish. It lasts a long time and it has a ton of protein, but come over here because you have to know what to look for. It's very important. So when I'm looking at tuna, not all tuna is created equal. You want low mercury tuna. And unfortunately, albacore is a high mercury tuna. The bigger the fish, the higher the uh, mercury. So you wanna look for skipjack or you wanna look for chunk light. These are smaller tuna pressed into the can, but they have way less mercury. Now here's the deal. I'd love to get something like this because it's packed in polyphenol rich extra virgin olive oil. Um, but the yellowfin is a big tuna. So once again, high mercury and good oil doesn't work for me. You want to stay away from this stuff though. This is chunk light, but in vegetable oil, that's the highly processed oil that's highly inflammatory and really bad for you. So just go for something like chunk light. If you could find it just in extra virgin olive oil, that's great. 
Um, stuff like wild, always get wild salmon is fantastic. Tons of nutrition in there. You can make little cakes out of that and pan fry them on a portable burner. And don't sleep, you guys, on sardines. Sardines, you gotta get wild caught. King Iskers, fantastic. These are rich in omega-3 fatty acids. I like the ones just in extra virgin olive oil, but between that, the salmon, and knowing what kind of tuna to get, you're gonna be good to go. We can't come to Walmart and not talk about the frozen food selection. And I know in a true doomsday scenario, you're not gonna have electricity for frozen food. Although Art says in The Walking Dead, they seem to have a lot of gasoline and electricity. So maybe you would, but hey, just in case there's like a virus and you don't wanna go outside or stuff like that, then you're gonna to wanna to stay inside and you're gonna have electricity. What is the healthiest frozen food options? Walmart has some great stuff, right? So this is their brand of frozen bowls. And I literally, was like shocked at the ingredients on this. So this is our Mediterranean inspired chicken bowl. Look at these ingredients, you guys, it's all real. Now I wish the chicken were organic, but it's not, it's okay. It's pretty typical for a uh, frozen food, but look, all vegetables. The only oil I see is extra virgin olive oil, which is crazy. And there's real seasonings. There's no filler. It's all thriller. And that's the case for pretty much any one of these bowls here. Um, I know Primal Kitchen has new frozen bowls coming out soon with avocado oil. You can't find avocado oil in almost any frozen food. But man, these are great value ones are fantastic. Now, come over here. Another one who does it straight up fantastic. Check this out. Amy. Everything Amy makes is organic and incredible. You look at her broccoli cheddar bake here. Look at this. So yeah, it's made of rice pasta, but the ingredients, everything is real. We I mean, look what kind of oil she uses. She always uses high oleic safflower oil. High oleic is a uh, heart healthier fatty acid profile. I'd love to see expeller press, but she's also using extra virgin olive oil, but nine times out of 10, it's gonna use expeller pressed. And if you want the healthiest frozen pizza, because hey, if you don't wanna go outside, you're gonna stream a lot of Netflix, you're gonna watch a lot of Curvy Enthusiasm, you're gonna want this, right, Art? Waldo, here's the pizza. Waldo, go on. This is right by the lines is in here. Check this out. Amy makes the cleanest pizza on the market if you wanna have a regular pizza. It's organic cheese pizza. Why is that important? Because wheat, like we talked about earlier, is sprayed with Roundup to desiccate it, to dry it. If it's organic, they can't do that. But look, it's just a few ingredients here. And here's what I'm talking about. She normally uses expeller pressed, high oleic safflower oil. That's the better for you kind of uh, agricultural oil. And it's a uh, hearty, uh, it's a heart healthier fatty acid profile. So really, really impressive. If you're gonna get a frozen pizza, get the Amy's one. Matt, they've been doing it right for ages in California. Super, super impressive. And then let's end the frozen food section on this right here. This is Dr. Prager. Everything they make is pretty much best in class. These are great to stash in the freezer. This is the black bean quinoa burger and it's all real ingredient. I wish they used a better oil, but the expeller pressed oil is not terrible. I just always say it. I feel like a doctor should probably be using olive or avocado oil. And for your kids, if you want to stock up on healthy snacks, I would go with any of these. Actually, Aldi makes a cheaper version of this, but once again, it's real ingredients. The oil could be better, but at least it's expeller pressed. And I do wish it was organic because they're using potatoes, but in a stock up scenario, this is still one of the cleaner ones you can get. All right, Flay family, that is it. Hey, listen, I don't want you to think this video is like clickbait or anything like that. It really is to help you stock up in case something bad happens. I mean, the news is not looking good. The stock market had the worst drop in history, not good for anyone's 401k, but it's good to know you can load up on healthy nutrient dense items, not spam and stuff like that. So I hope you found the video helpful. Like, subscribe, share. That is the only way our channel keeps growing the way it has. Uh, we got two more videos going below us right now, but Art and I will see you very soon. But until then, we say unto you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later, Art. Wait, you drove. <laughs>